y'all welcome to my channel i'm jaylynn and in today's video i'm gonna be doing my first ever lace wig install with this frontal wig i have from tanache hair i want to give a big thank you to them for sending me this wig it's a super cute curly bob so it's perfect for every day i love this wig for its definition its body um, it's not even completely dry, so it's probably going to get bigger, but it's so, so pretty. If you want to know any specs or details on this hair, make sure to check out my description box for more. And before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and without further ado, let's hop into the install. So I'm starting off with a fresh braid down. And I'm going to take some Gatti B glue gel just to brush my edges back and out of the way before I put on the wig cap. For this wig install, I decided to do the bald cap method because the wig that I'll be wearing is a frontal wig and I felt like it would be most suitable to make the wig lay as flat as I can get it. Once I get the wig cap on my head and over my ears, I'm going to cut some holes over the ears out just so that I can pull my ears through. And this just makes sure that the wig cap sits flat on my head where there will be no gaps and it's flat on top of my sideburns. So the main products that I'll be using are the Got To Be Glue Free Spray and the Got To Be Glue Gel. I first went in with the free spray all over my hairline and a little bit farther back. Then I applied the Got To Be Glue Gel, mainly concentrating it on my hairline. And once I get the first layer of each product to my liking, I went in with my blow dryer on the cool setting and blow dried it till it was completely dry. And then I repeat this process one more time for the second layer. Once the wig cap is completely dry, I go in with my foundation powder and a makeup brush and I focus the product mainly on the hairline and where I'm going to be parting the wig. So I did the middle part so that the wig cap looks as close to my skin color as possible. After that, I cut off the band of the wig cap with some scissors and then for more precise cutting, I used a eyebrow razor so that I can get a more jagged line.
after cutting, I noticed that some of the edges of the wig cap were lifting, so I went in with a little bit more gel to lay them down along with a flat tool I just had around my house. You can use anything flat like a popsicle stick to lay down the edges. Just try to refrain from using your fingers because once you lift your finger up, the edge will come right back up with it. I tried, so just grab something flat that you have, like a popsicle stick, to assist you. So the wig that I received is from Tinashe Hair. This is what the box looks like, front and back. And the hair that I got is their 14 inch curly bob with a 13 by 4 inch frontal that I pre bleached and plucked off camera. Um, it came pre-plucked and on the inside you get four combs, some lace in the back, adjustable straps, and some hooks for the elastic bands. They also give you a scarf, a pair of mink lashes, a package of two wig caps, their little pamphlet with their information on it, and this is what the elastic band looks like. Before applying the wig, I went in with a cotton ball and some alcohol just to wipe off any residual product or makeup from around my hairline. So this is where the frustration comes to play y'all because this hairline on the wig is not very compatible with my natural hairline and you'll see that very closely and more in detail later on in the video but to make a long story short the hairline on the sides is way too far back to pull over my natural hairline so when i lift up the sides you can see the cap you can see my hairline and it just looks a little wonky but you already know your girl may do what it do and i think i camouflaged it pretty well Once I cut tabs in the lace, I applied the Got To Be Glue Gel in sections. So the first section was, as you can see, in the middle, and I did a light layer so that there wasn't too much product caked up on my edge. And then after that layer got tacky, I applied some Got To Be Glue Free Spray and then put the lace over that. I didn't want to do too much product with this step because I didn't want the product to get white and cakey and that worked best for me. To make sure that the product stuck to the lace really well, I pushed the lace in with the comb side of my edge brush, making sure to brush the hairs up and back so that the hairs didn't get stuck in the got to be glued as well. Once I let the lace set for around 5 to 10 minutes, I go ahead and take off my scarf and cut the lace. So to cut the lace, I used the eyebrow razor like I did earlier with the wig cap for a more precise and jagged edge and then I'm going to start styling the hair.
so to style this hair all I had to use was mousse and water and that's it and because of the texture this hair absorbed water very well so instantly the hair was easy to detangle distribute the product and define the curls So after styling the hair, I let the hair air dry and combed my fingers through it just to break up some of the curls and make the hair more voluminous. And I also did my edges with the Got To Be Glue Gel and this is what my results look like. Alright y'all, so this is the final result. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, for my first ever lace wig install, I think I did a pretty good job. Obviously it could be better, but I'm still progressing and stuff. It's my first time, so I know over time I'll get better. But this is what we're working with today. I did a couple edges just to cover up the lace or whatever. Um, I did not expect this wig to be like this, not to say in a bad way, but it's definitely not what I was imagining. Like, I didn't know that installing the wig took this much effort, so yeah, it's just a learning process, but I do like this hair. I want to give a thanks to Tanache Hair for sending me this wig. It's so pretty. I love the curls on it, and the density is perfect perfect it's not too thin not too thick and i love the length as well i did cut off just a little bit just to make it even in the front because in the front it was a little longer so i just snipped it and that was it but yeah y'all um just to get into some specs on this hair this with this wig is 180 percent density it's 14 inches and it's their curly bob wig um, all the details will be in my description box, but that's just a little bit on it. Um, and some pros on this hair is the manageability. Like, it's super easy to wash and comb through. And I did pre-wash this wig because I bleached the knots and plucked it off camera. So after I bleached the knots, obviously I washed it. And it was super easy to wash and comb through and it was very manageable. Also, I think this hair would be perfect for an everyday wig because it's short. Um, you don't have to worry about too much hair being in your face. Um, as I framed it, I pushed this front part up and just draped it over and the hair has been staying on the side. So it hasn't been getting in my face at all, which is A plus, y'all. I do not like a whole bunch of hair in my face all the time. So I like how it stays in place and does exactly what you want it to do so I like this wig for that reason but there are some cons to this wig y'all this wig sheds a lot I don't know if it's because of how I bleached the knots or if it was anything that I did or if it's just because this wig is a frontal because it is a 13 by 4 inch frontal but this wig sheds a lot um, I have hair everywhere right now so that's a con but because of how nice the density is, you really can't tell a difference in the hair that it sheds, so that's a plus. Um, and also, the knots bleach well, but not well enough for me. Like, um, they're still a little bit dark. Um, when I bleach the knots, I use 30 volume developer, and I left it on for about 15 to 16 minutes. So for me to leave it on for that long with 30 volume, I thought it would get a little bit lighter, but maybe that was just me. Maybe I just need to leave it on a little bit longer. I don't know, but I 
think that this wig is definitely wearable. Also, another con, y'all, is that on my head, the lace, like the hairline, comes back too far. And my hairline is right here. The lace hairline is like back here. So it doesn't line up. And for me, I was thinking on this wig, I'll be able to put it behind my ear, you know, do cute styles. I can't really do all that because of how far the hairline is on the wig. Um, but I don't really mind that. I like it styled just like this. It's super cute. And also, like, if I really wanted to put it behind my ear, I could just, like, pull this down, put that behind my ear and wear it like that. But, yeah. That basically concludes what I think about this wig for the most part. This hair is really, really cute. I love any short length on me. So, this is so pretty and manageable and I just see myself wearing it to school or wearing it you know going to the mall or whatever it's a really nice wig so yeah if you just put a wig cap on slap this bad boy on and put some glue on it I think it's pretty good for every day especially if you don't use like a heavy glue like I use a gel it's not really a glue it's got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel and that held down the lace pretty well i haven't had any lifting or i haven't had any problems with this hair um staying down so yeah y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed seeing me install this wig i tried y'all i really did but you know i'm still learning so it is what it is but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of me from me and all that jazz, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I make new videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.